continue with our program for this afternoon. We're ready for our fourth group. This is the first time they've appeared in the Battle of the Bands. Can we have a nice welcome for Cotton Candy? Okay. 
just like the body shop. No big deal, all right? Come on, you guys can do it. I got confidence in you right now. Come on! Good evening and welcome, everybody, to the finals of the third annual Owl Sound Center Battle of the Bands. We're ready to get underway right now with a brand new group. Give them a nice welcome, Cotton Candy. gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. They've been champions for the last two years in a row. Here they are, the incredible Rapid Fire! No 
surprise that rapid fire, led by that flashy and polished Torben Biquette, swept through the final. Swept? Not to say one lousy thing about us making the finals, about the way we played, nothing. We got ripped off. Okay. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. The crowd clearly came to see Rapid Fire, and particularly Torben Baquette, who looks as though he may jump from the local scene directly to rock stardom. Rock stardom! I thought we did well. Yeah, we did great, but who's gonna know about it? Rock stardom, I can't believe it. Well, don't worry about it. Well, at least we got to play in front of all those people. That was really great. You know, about halfway through the second set, I was looking around, checking people out, and they were really liking us. My band. Ah, oh, great. There he is, Mr. Rock Stardom himself. I'll tell you one thing. He might hop around on stage pretty well, but we outplayed those clowns, and we can do it again any day of the week. Ah, I can't go to school. I feel like cutting. You're not gonna cut. <laughs> Especially not government. Now, get going. I gotta finish putting these up for Mrs. Trempy. Brenda. Hello. Yeah, I just thought I'd tell you I had my eye on you the other night. I really kind of dug what you were doing there. Thank you. That's okay. Listen, you want to hop in the vet? We can go over a little business. What business? Well, you know, I was checking you out there the other night, and I'm saying to myself, man, you've got to get this chick. So I want you to join Rapid Fire. How about that? Horrible. No, listen, we'll have two drummers. It'll blow everybody away. I like the band I'm in. Oh, no, come on. You call that a band? You know, if you were with Rapid Fire, people would hear you for a change. You know, you'd be making a little bit of bread. You'd be making a lot of bread. We got money gigs every week. I'm really not interested. And since you'd need some breaking in, you know, I'll be spending a lot of time with you myself. Torben, I wouldn't join your band if my life depended on it. Last night? He called you last night, too? Well, I can't get into blowing my butts on this. Don't worry about it. If he calls again, I won't even answer the phone. These cards are key. You hand them out, you stick them in the lockers, you put them in the bathrooms. And... Bathrooms? And if I see them, I'll just... Jerk. You don't like it, fine. Then get off my case about getting gigs, because the number one rule is you got to advertise. You can't get, let that idiot get you He's off. pushing it, Brenda. He's really pushing it. All right, you make us some bread, and I won't say nothing about these fruity little cards, all right? Hey, George, will you guys lighten up about the cards? new idea to make you be in my band. I don't want to be. You're going to love it. I want you to go out with me, then you'll find out how really irresistible I am, and then you'll have to join Rapid Fire. Buzz off. I've had it with you, Paquette. Get out of here. Georgie, I was just talking to your drummer here. She doesn't want to talk to you. Look, why don't you give the girl a break and let her be in a good group for a change? I don't want to talk to you either. Come on. No. Look, jackass, I was just feeling sorry for her because she's stuck in a group with a bunch of retards. Shut up, Paquette. Oh, Georgie, don't make me too nervous. Here, wipe this off. Side. 
Surprise you later on, but hang on a sec. Meet me around back. Okay. Okay. Frank, I'm taking my break now. Okay. Oh, no. What'd you do this for? Well, uh, kind of an anniversary present. I figured it out, and we've been going together for exactly two months. Like it okay? Like it. I love it. Are you crazy? <laughs> mm, it's beautiful. Thank you. I've got this song. It's just a little tune that I'm working on, and I never really wrote anything like it before, but let me play it for you. nothing to cry about. I mean, that's great. I love you, too. No, but I can't. I mean, I do. I do love you, but you make it real hard on me. Hard? George, I'm leaving. I'm going away to college. I have to. It's all set. It's been set since last year. It's special. It's through my dad's company, okay? And, and 
All his friends know I'm going. And... And my dad. He's so proud of me. Can't you understand? Well, I knew you had... Well, couldn't you maybe just... It's all set. I haven't a plane ticket. Hey, that's five. Well, do you want to go? See, my, my dad, um... Come on, George, break's over. All right. Sometimes I don't even take a break. I gotta go. I've got you in enough trouble already. Thanks for the necklace and the song and... the best. Thanks. Have a good answer. I'll see you. George, you're applying to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Is that correct? Yes. Well, George, <clears throat> I hate to say this, but it's totally unrealistic. Well, uh, they sent me an application and a catalog. Do you have any idea what the requirements are? You haven't begun to follow the curriculum for university prep. Well, I have this friend of mine who's going there, see, and I'd like to at least give it a shot. If you, A, went to a junior college and worked very hard, B, followed a carefully prepared curriculum, and C, succeeded in bringing your grade point average up to a very respectable level, you might be able to attend your junior year. Well, Mr. Bremerkamp, couldn't you just send in a reference or ask him to give me a break or something? As a responsible educator, I have to tell you that with your present transcript and the classes you've taken, your application won't even be considered, not by a school of that academic standing. Just put the Massachusetts Institute of Technology out of your mind. It's lunch. Your father and I have been, uh, well, we've been worried that you're spending too much time with this little girl. Oh, Mom. The hours you spend with her, it's as if you were married. Oh, come on, Mom, give me a break. You used to think I was a homo, now you think I'm a nympho? I can't get a lousy break. Cranky? 
Yeah, and if you keep it up, the guys are gonna get mad. What's the matter? You think they're gonna quit? They might. Not on. Why are you being so negative? Well, what's so positive? You think the band's gonna keep going when you run off to MIT? I swear, is that your problem? Hey, guys, kid's back. Um, I just gotta get something I forgot. Uh, English book. Look, don't try and make me feel guilty, because I've got a scholarship. When you joined up, did you know you were gonna be leaving? Well, yes. Oh, well, let's work on the harmony. Oh, well, what's wrong with that? You sure strung me along for somebody who's skipping out. I don't have to take this. I'm not skipping out on anybody. I had my scholarship way before I got mixed up with you. You made such a big deal about the band. I love the band. I don't want to leave the band, but you really expect me to blow this chance? Look, just forget it, okay? What's more important, a scholarship or a band? What's more important, a scholarship or us? With your attitude, I don't know. Oh, well, great, if you don't know. What am I supposed to tell my father? Tell him you love me. But it won't do any good. Look, Brenda, I'm sick and tired of beating my head against a wall. So thanks a hell of a lot for your lousy two months. I guess we broke up. It's July the 4th, 1776. History is in the making as 28 men gather to sign a famous document, the Declaration of Independence. America was ruled by Britain. I did it. Little did King I George just now know. sold it up over the phone. Corky, you know that gig I was working on? The Taylor Party? A fire in the this is it, man, our first gig. If you boys are going to talk and disrupt this whole me. class, go out in the hall. The Come on. Thomas it's really important. It's It'll just be a second. It's a gigantic birthday party. I know. I talked to Brenda just a minute ago. She says it doesn't matter about you two. I mean, she was a little weird about it, but she says she'll do it on strictly a professional level. Will we get paid? Why do you think you got a manager? This is a hot gig, man. 75 bananas. Starry eyed, won't you run away to do another one for you now. George, it's a gig. With you and Brenda, nobody knew what was going on. Thought it would pull everybody together. Yeah. <laughs> 